Welcome back to the Washington Huddle. Time to welcome back Jake Seeley from The Athletic, one of the top fantasy experts in the country. Jake, it is championship week for a lot of fantasy owners out there, so uh, what do you say we try and bring them home? Uh, one of the shockers last week, Tom Brady, leads the league in passing, one of the top fantasy performers. He's underperformed the last two weeks against New Orleans and Carolina. Throw this out there. Do you consider benching the GOAT? <laughs> Never when it comes to Tom Brady. And at this point, it's just a lesson overall is you hear the cliches, uh, dance with the one who brought you and don't bench your studs and all that type of stuff. But there are certain scenarios when you're talking about injuries or you're talking about performance over a season. But really what it comes down to, as you just mentioned, you mentioned two games out of the year. One, the Saints is a really bad matchup. But we've seen other quarterbacks. We've seen other running backs. One game doesn't define your season, even on the good side. Like you know, nobody's starting Rex Burkhead in their championship game, despite <laughs> what he just did last week. So you have to say you have to understand the player, the season, and the performance. Don't bench these guys when they're top performance, especially the GOAT, Tom Brady. I think he's going to go out there and try to set records for Antonio Brown to get that extra contract uh, incentive that he's got out there. All right, note to self, do not bench the greatest of all time. <laughs> got it. Rule 101. Uh, the Washington football team, wideout Terry McLaurin, always considered a big play, big game threat. But since leaving the first Dallas game with a concussion, he really hasn't been himself. Can you still count on McLaurin? Yeah, this is a little bit different. I, I don't think you can. I think you're looking at Terry McLaurin's season in general has been very much a boomer bust. He's had some really big games, more down games than not. Some of it has to do with the offense. Some has to do with the quarterback play. It's just this team has been inconsistent this year, as we know and we understand. And so Merrick McLaurin, you say he's in the wide receiver three conversation for everybody out there. That's like the 30th, the 35th best wide receiver. So you could find him on your bench in the championship week. He certainly hasn't helped you get there the past couple weeks. Antonio Gibson's even risky at this point. The tight end situation is up in the air with John Bates and Ricky Seals-Jones sharing time. I think you're looking at Gibson, yes, maybe McLaurin, and that's about it going into your championship week if you're looking for Washington football players at least. And finally, let's talk about this weekend's matchup at FedEx Field. Quarterback Jalen Hurts uh, had a pretty big game for the Eagles in the first matchup, pretty much did whatever he wanted to. So did running back uh, Miles Sanders. What are the matchups you're going to have your eyes on in round two? I think that Jalen Hurst is definitely the one to look at here. Is if that if he's dealing with a little bit of injury, he already practiced already this week. So if he's 100%. I think he's in play as a top 10, potentially a top five quarterback. Devontae Smith, we always know, unfortunately, against the division, can show up in a big way. Uh, I would say this, Devontae Smith over Terry McLaurin at this point, I think you have to start him as much as I hate to say that to all the Washington fans out there. I don't think actually that's a pretty big surprise at this point. Hey, Jake, <laughs> always thanks for the insight. Jake Seeley, fantasy expert with TheAthletic.com. You can always check him out on Twitter, at AllInKid. Uh, Jake, thanks again. Have a happy new year. You too. I appreciate it.